Welcome in as we take a look at a place where tales unfold under the eaves, the fun hole Old West train station where stories happen. This is set number F9039. It contains 1,974 pieces, 10 number bags with 28 bags in total, two bags of special pieces, a bag containing plates and train tracks, a box of lights, and five distinct minifigures. The Old West train station includes all printed pieces, and true to fun hole, the brick quality is excellent, and of course, the set has lights. It actually has 10, yes, 10 points of light to bring this set to life. This set retails for $99.99 US and is the newest addition to Funhole's Old West series. Thank you so much to Funhole for sending this set along so we could share with all of you. And don't forget, you can save 10% with Funhole using our code SheClicksBricks. All links and any other offers or promotions will be in the description. As this set is inspired by Red Dead Redemption, let's get dusted into Old West Town. I'm Stacy, and this is... We'll take a look at the box, and of course we've got the Fun Hole Official Delight Day and Night. Set number, number of pieces, and a gorgeous picture of this set in an awesome Old West setting. We've also got our Old West logo here, as this is part of the Old West series. We've got our five minifigs that all come with this set. We will take a closer look at those when we get to them. And then on the back, we have all of the Old West sets so far all together. And I love how they put this picture together with the train right in front of all the buildings. Well done. As well in the box with our pieces, we have our fun hole light kit. So we've got our brick separator in there as well, and our tweezers for our wire connectors. And then we've got a screwdriver for our battery box and two bags of lights with this set. Take a look at the manual. Beautiful picture, the same as that is what's on the box. With one exception, we have a QR code so you could download PDF instructions if you prefer to use the digital instructions. We've got our inspiration some beautiful pictures here of the inside of the set. And these are the two bags of lights that come in the box and you can see the strings that make our 10 points of light. These instructions are so well done. The color is very, very good. There's a couple of points in here where you use two different greens and there's no question which one you need based on the color in the book. This is the some instructions for the lights. And this one here, you can see that you use one of the special pieces for the lights so that you don't pinch the lights. But very detailed instructions. Very easy to, to maneuver. And this is a picture of all the Old West sets so far. As I noted earlier, we have five distinct minifigs. We've got our ticket seller, our gold miner, our female passenger, our robber, and our bounty hunter. All of their outfits are very unique to the Old West. And what I really love is all their faces are different. They have different facial hair, different expressions. You can see on the back as well that their outfits continue right through to the back as well. Very unique, very nicely done. And they are so cute. Take a look at this little build that came with the set. It matches the landscaping of the set really perfectly. It doesn't actually attach on anywhere, but it's just an addition to the scenery, I guess. Now let's take a look at this train station. Look at the beauty of the front. I just think it looks so authentic. With the printed pieces, we've got a light right out front. Here's our ticket booth, even our ticket is a printed piece. These really nice pillars here. These pieces are all brick bricks, but the other side of them, so it looks like siding. And then we've got lots of trim around here. Really, a lot of detail. This train track, I love that this came with it and it's not just the building. There's all of this landscaping that you build. Ooh, there's all of this landscaping that you build and then you build the tracks over that, which is really neat. We've got the roof here. This does move up and down, but I love how it looks like all that rickety wood and then these eaves and the clock. 
just a really great style of building for the Old West. Spin this around and take a look at the other side. We've got our Desert Junction 13, the piece that won at the spotlight earlier that I knocked off. We've got another printed piece here. And then we've got this spotlight to the Wanted posters. Now, this light is, it does move, but it is supposed to be tilted this way so that it shines on the Wanted posters, which I think is really cool. We've got a bench here. This is a separate build. If you look at the bottom of it it actually doesn't it's not built in a way that it can go on studs so there is no studs for it to go on it's just an added addition here and we've got a dolly and some boxes there is lots of good studs here and i love how this is all the way around the set make it consistent over to the back of the building very consistent with the architecture here as well we've got another train station printed sign and our third outdoor um, point of light and we've got our battery box here this is where i said that it needs a screw to open or to keep it closed but they did a really good job with this battery box i'm impressed it slides in and out easily the on off switch is easily accessible and it stays right in really well done Got our roof continuing here. I love how they added in some of these printed pieces to give it some more definition. And we've got some peaks here again, and these actually move a little bit. They're on hinges and are the clock. Now to the last side. We have a fourth point of light. I love that every single side has a light. And we've got another printed train station piece. This door is actually a sliding door. And looks how look how easily it slides. It's amazing. I don't know if you noticed, but each of the doors also have this star piece too. It's pretty cool. We've got some boxes of beef, some printed pieces there on top. We've got some pallets that are separate little builds. So a little piece down here at the bottom so that they don't slide off. But they're just separate little builds with printed pieces. Really cute. And we've got this ramp here, and this actually comes up and slowly moves down. It's pretty cool. We've got another dolly and some barrels of consumables, cactus plants that they carried through from the actual train set, which is very neat. I wanted to take this apart and show you all the greatness that is underneath. This is what you start with with the build, all of these support pieces. The building comes right off and you build the building right on this. It's really neat. We've got our battery box. This is where it's hidden underneath. And this is the screw that I was talking about that you need the screwdriver for. And then these train tracks, they're only put on by pins. So you can take these off if you prefer not to have them on all the time. And then they just go back in by these pins. I'm going to bring it a little closer to me in order to get them in. But it's that easy. Look at that. So where this is disconnected from the base, you'll notice that there's no lights on, but I just wanted to show how it goes on. It just lines up right on the base and plug it in. And there's our lights. It's that easy. Very cool. Taking a look at the inside, we've got two points of light that we can see right off there. We've got some boxes and some janitorial equipment. Over here, we have a phone and a phone directory. This is our ticket booth. This was actually a separate build, all three sides of it, and then it just goes right in. Around the other side, we've got a board here that covers most of the wires there. And then this is where our brick is, where all of our wires go in. And we've got a clock and a mailbox that leads right through to the front door. Lots of good little details there. We've got our roof that is a separate piece on its own. And wow, is it sturdy. There's so many different pieces on there, different size pieces, some printed pieces. I love the peaks. And these actually move because they're on some ball pieces there. When you look underneath, we can see we have two more points of light, which brings us to our eight. And when I put this on the roof, on the actual building, it will light up the inside of the station a little more. So we're going to line these up with this and put that on so that we can light up the rest of the set. There we go. 
And we've got our 10 points of light. You can see the light right through the eaves. So well done. Let's see if you can see in there a little bit. Before I get into anything that I would change about this set, please give us a thumbs up. And remember, I wore a hat for this. We've got this extra build, which is cute, but I prefer to have any of these pieces like this just attached. Same with this bench. There's lots of jumpers actually on this set that could be used, but the way this bench is built, it can't actually go on to any of the jumpers. I just like to not have anything sliding around when I move it. The other thing is where all the wires meet behind this board. I did have a hard time getting this board on flush. I had to try a few times because we've got three or four wires here that are all in behind to go to that box. There are so many positives with this set and it was such a fun build. It was so great to see this theme come together. The brick quality rivals that of Lego. There's 10 points of light. They are all so well placed. We have all printed pieces. I love that the train tracks are removable if you wanted to do that. Um, the light, the all three sections come apart and go together easily. The size of it is 38 studs by 46 studs. So it's a good size set. And the minifigs are so perfectly themed. Now let's take a look with the lights out. You can see how well this light in the front lights up that train schedule sign. On this side, you can see right through that sliding door. You can really tell how the lights on the ceiling light up the rest of the station. Over here, we've got another light right by the door. Lights up that deck so well. We've got the wanted sign here all lit up. And then in the roof, you can see the eaves are lit up on both sides because they're so well placed. I'm gonna come in a little closer and take a look at the inside with the lights on. These two lights here, you see that the fixtures light right up. And they give off a good amount of light for that space. Love it. And here is the train station with the old West train. We've got the tracks all put together from both sets. And by the way, these tracks are Lego compatible. They look really good together. What a great blend. We've got all the mini figs out and the water tower is here. And here it is with the lights. What a fantastic, fantastic scene. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, keep cooking those bricks, y'all.